Greetings viewers. We are back again to my first time playthrough of Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, last time, <laughs> the, uh, the final rush level was kicking my ass, is what happened last time. And hopefully we'll do a better job of it this time. Because I really would like to finish the hero story mode. So I can eventually move on to the uh, dark story mode. So let's see if I can do this. <laughs> if anyone can make it on time, it's Sonic. All right. Final rush. Hurry and find the point of the cannon. Here goes nothing. We'll see what Omachow has to say. I figured that much. Anything over here? I kind of just rushed through the level last time. Oh, it's a little vulture. How cute. Or hummingbird. I don't even know what that is. Some sort of bird. And I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. What is this? Some sort of square. Press the A button and use the left stick while grinding to jump from rail to rail. Ah! Oh. A button and left stick, you said? Because I had trouble with that last time. Now, can I still hold this while grinding? Yeah, A button and left stick. Alright, I'll have to try that. And it looks like I can't grind while holding this box. I have no idea what to do with the box, so I'm just going to leave it here for now. Not worry about it too much. But yeah, one of the things that kept killing me last time was uh, that I couldn't successfully jump from rail to rail without falling to my death. So maybe if I carefully use the control stick and A at the right time, I'll uh, manage to survive this time. Yeah, I don't know what I was supposed to do with that little box. But let's get back to rail grinding. I missed that extra life last time, too. And a little penguin. Okay. Just gotta stay calm and pay attention to what I'm doing. I could test out the rail switching jump right now, but I'm kind of scared, to be honest. <laughs> if I mess it up, I'll die. So I don't want to try to do it until I absolutely have to. <laughs> and I remember that bomb to blow up the Robo Chaoses. Oh, you don't necessarily have to jump on. You can just walk onto it. That's... That's useful. What's this? Another vulture? At least I think it's a vulture. And checkpoint. Okay. We're doing good so far. This is about where I died last time. Yeah. That rail jump isn't as easy as they make it seem. But we're managing. <laughs> okay. Now what? Well, it's pointing me this away. Are those rails? Yes, they are. A little weird that they're going up now, but. Give me that chaos drive. Get on the rail. 
Hold on for dear life. Oh my god, where am I going? Uh, I guess we want to jump. Okay, so far so good. Oh, and I even have a shield. Now, what is this? I am confused. What the frig? Okay. I'm more confused than ever, but as long as I'm alive... What do you think, Omachow? Jump dash to gain more speed. Oh god, no! Dying is not fun, Omachow! Dying is not fun at all! <sighs> oh, come on. Alright. Um, I guess I'll just take the same way I went before. This is scary stuff. What if I use these? There we go. Alright. Um, another vertical rail. No! That's such bullshit! You can homing attack onto the wrong fucking enemies when I don't want you to, Sonic. But you can't homing attack onto the fucking rail right in front of you. That's just great. Once again, I'm losing all my lives to these fucking rails. <sighs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do to not die. Yeah, I'm afraid to jump dash Oma Chow. Because if, if I'm off by a fucking nanometer, then I die. You understand how stressful that is? I don't think you do. Uh, it looks like they go in different directions. Okay. Okay, but not quite enough. That means I have to homing attack it. And that means I might die in the attempt. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, God, we have to do it again. But at least this is like a head-on camera angle. That makes it a little easier. Head-on, apply directly to the rail. Rings. An extra life would be nice. Can I jump this? Yes. Oh, thank God, checkpoint. Alright, we will make it through this. I am not getting another game over if I can help it. Just take it nice and easy. Really, now the camera angle doesn't change? Okay, okay, now over here, and up here, very stressful, okay, easy now, this is, this feels so dangerous, so stressful. No! Why didn't you put me on the rail that time? Damn it. At least it's not far from where I was. At least I don't think it is. I'll jump on the rail myself this time. Oh my god, how am I alive? And am I even going the right way anymore? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Can I jump on this? Yes. Okay. I can only hope this is the right way. Oh, I saw an extra life that I missed. 
Where the hell am I even going? I don't know. I don't know where the hell is anything anymore. <gasps> you! Don't you dare fall! Right next to the checkpoint. That was... That had my heart in my throat right there. Okay. Okay. Mmm, not enough speed. All right. Still not enough speed. What do you want me to do? Okay. There's not like a booster here, no. Oh, and I have no rings. If I run into an enemy, I'm dead. Jesus Christ. How did I run out of rings? Oh my god, this is so terrifying. Another cube. Maybe I'm supposed to... Wait, there's two of them? Yeah, there's two cubes here. And I still have no idea what I'm supposed to do with them. But I'm not really worried about that right now. I'm worried about making it to the end of this level alive. And right now, I don't even know where the end of the level is. I could be going completely the wrong way for all I know. The, the, the rail doesn't even take me to the next part? What the fuck is this? This can't be good level design. It just can't. And how the hell am I supposed to? Ah, that's how. Okay. I think I went this way already. And it's just as stressful as the last time. Maybe more so. Seriously, where the hell am I going? Did you? Unbelievable. I am going to die. I am going to die because I have no rings? Where are all the fucking rings? Damn this game. I can't believe I made it all the way over there only to die because I had no fucking rings. Where are all the rings in this godforsaken level? There's some much needed rings. No! Why? Why would you launch me off the fucking platform? This level is bullshit. It is official. No sane human being could navigate this shit. Okay, I did a somersault when I meant to do the fucking dash attack, spin dash, whatever the fuck it's called, and I couldn't even get off the rail. This is such utter bullshit. This is actually infuriating. I don't know what to do. All I want is for this godforsaken level to be over. 
How long is it going to take? How many videos do I have to suffer through this bullshit? Give me those rings. At the very least, I am going to make sure I always have a fucking ring on me. And I still don't know what these fucking cubes are for. I would think if they were important, Omachow would say something about them. I honestly don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Honestly, I feel like I'm going in circles in this level. Oh, and I missed the fucking extra life again. Damn it. This level is just frustration on top of confusion. I don't even know if I'm going the right way, where the end of the level is. I don't know anything. I mean, I... What? What? You've got to be fucking kidding me. I went through the solid wall. You all saw that. I can't believe that just happened. This game officially has it out for me. Like, this is just malicious now. This isn't fair. This isn't balanced. This is just cruelty. I can't even trust myself to go on a fucking solid wall anymore. Nothing is safe. That's this level in a nutshell. Nothing is safe. I wonder if I was supposed to take a different path down those. I don't know. I mean, it feels like I'm going the right way, but I really don't know. Trust me, Alma Chow. Fun is not a word I would use to describe this shit. This is torture. I would make someone play this level as a form of interrogation. I don't think I even made it past this part last time. Alright. This is... Okay. I can just sort of jump over. And this one has a head-on camera angle. That's right. I did make it past here. How far, I don't remember. And I remember that there was a spring that didn't even take, or not a spring, a rail, that didn't take me to a solid platform afterward. I just fell into the abyss. Alright, alright. What the fuck? Okay, at least I didn't... Can you please? Sonic! What are you doing? Can't trust the homing attack. Can't trust anything. Nothing is safe. The level. Let's try this again. No, 
that's not gonna work. I have to homing attack it. Even though that's risky, apparently. Everything is risky. Alright. Where in the hell am I going is the question of the day. Like, am I the only one struggling this much with this bullshit level? Or is it like this for everyone, I wonder? I can't imagine millions of kids all over the world had to suffer through this shit. Okay. Oh, magnet shield. That's nice. Nope! Didn't fucking make that! I hate this level so much. More than words can express. I never make it to that rail! What am I supposed to do? Alright. How about this? That rail ends. You have to jump. What the fuck? Okay. At least we're not dead this time. Yet. Key word being yet. Still don't know which way to go. Can't see where either of these rails end. Fuck it, I'm taking the purple one. And I found myself without any rings, once again. There's a much needed extra life if I dare to get it. It's right there. Are you fucking... I have no words. Only pain. Only suffering. This level is a curse that I wish I never had to deal with. I'm beginning to regret playing this game now as much as I wanted to all these years. I now regret it. These rails are bullshit. How many fucking game overs do I have to go through? I really do need to dedicate a whole ass video, possibly multiple whole ass videos, just to complete this one goddamn level. I am in absolute shock at how utterly bullshit impossible this level is. No one should have to suffer through this. I don't know if I'm just that fucking bad at the game, or if it's really just utter bullshit. Please let me know in the comments. Is it just me, or is it the level? Because I don't know anymore. I, I've come to doubt everything I've ever known thanks to this level. My own abilities, my own sanity, everything. Everything is a lie, and nothing is safe. That's all I know now. Give me that fucking extra life. I'm gonna need all the extra lives I can possibly get. But I'm not taking too much risk for one, obviously, because that's what killed me last time. One of many things that killed me last time. I, I can't even say that this or that killed me. Everything in this level has killed me. At least once.
Please let this nightmare be over soon. That's all I ask. Fuck you. Fuck! I almost fucking died to a fucking enemy. It's not the enemies I'm worried about here, it's the fucking gravity. Okay. I'm gonna try a different way and see if it matters. Because I always took the middle path. Maybe I'm not supposed to take the middle path. Where the hell is this taking me? I don't know. I have no clue where I'm going anymore. I really don't. Alma Chow? Yeah, you're the same one from before. Okay. Nice and easy. There we go. Yeah. I don't need your alarms. I got my own alarms going off inside my head right now. All of the alarms are going off at this fucking bullshit. Checkpoints mean nothing when lives are but farts in the wind. Those five lives I have will be gone in the blink of an eye. <sighs> I'm actually pouring sweat. It's ridiculous. Okay. Up and up. Alright, here we go. Where we're going, I don't know, but we're going somewhere. Alright, I remember dying to something up ahead. Oh, okay. We're alive. That's uh, not what I expected. No! Why would they put that in front of a sheer cliff? That's so fucking evil. A fucking booster in front of a fucking dead drop. Who does that? Who designs levels like that? And why can't I jump off the rail without dying? It's just as I said. All these lives are but farts in the wind. They mean nothing in this bullshit level. And I'm out of rings again. That's never good. The slightest touch could kill me. An extra life, but that's the same one that killed me before. Yeah, it's, it's just not safe to get it. But I could really use it. Am I really about to risk it for the same one that killed me? If I could just gauge the distance without dying. Yes! Okay. That's one more fart in the wind at least. Didn't quite make it. Let's try that again. Didn't quite make it and I don't know why. There we go. Okay. Hmm. 
why am I flying into the abyss? I don't understand. And I can't jump off the rail. Jumping off the rail is virtually impossible because your jump is as short as shit for some fucking reason. Normally Sonic can jump easily 10 times his own height, but not on these rails. For some reason he has the fucking jump height of an infant when on these godforsaken rails. Let's take the left rail. Not that it really matters. Checkpoint, that matters. Okay, now what? Still don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Feels like I'm going in circles and maybe I am. Rings. I forgot about how useful those are. Okay. Let's see where I'm going here. Um, didn't I already do this part? I am going in circles, aren't I? What the hell? Well, oh, this is new. I have no idea what's happening. Oh my god! Thank you, Jesus! The suffering, the nightmare is finally over! Oh my god. I don't know what to say except fuck this level. <sighs> I, I do believe I've lost a fair amount of my sanity from playing that level. It is just beyond, beyond justification. Alright, uh, I want to give this penguin to Moses if I can find him. I just feel like giving Moses, like, aquatic features. I feel like it suits him. See, he, uh, he's swimming. He likes water. He's an aquatic type of chow. I knew it. So I think you should have this penguin, Moses. Here you go. And he's got the eyebrows. That's so cute. All right, and you know I'm giving all these chaos drives to Ramses if I can wake his lazy ass up. Here you go, Ramses. I am going to max out all your stats. Yeah, as a matter of fact, can I pick you up? Can, can I? Can I pick him up? How do I pick him up? No. There we go. Instead of bringing all the friggin' chaos drives to you, I'll bring you to the, ch to the chaos drives. That makes it much easier. Are his stats not going up anymore? Oh, they still are, yeah. There's Fly. Fly again. Fly is now level two. Okay. And let us not forget the coconut. Gotta get that stamina boosted as well. In fact, I can at least give coconuts to little Moses. And oh, it looks like Moses is turning white now too. Or at least he's paler than he was before. 
you know, Ramsey's started out light blue, but now he's pitch white, and I have no idea why. I hope it's not a bad thing. And now it looks like Moses is turning white, too. Good Moses. All right, that's enough messing around with the chows. Let's hopefully finish the hero story right now. Five minutes, 44 seconds. <laughs> All right, I guess this is the final showdown with Shadow. And we should have time, at least I hope so. <laughs> oh, this looks like it's going to be fun. Can't quite reach him. There we go. That time I hit him. Oh, this isn't too bad. You just catch up to him and home and attack him and try not to get home and attacked yourself. I think he's behind me now. Oh, now he's in front of me. Now he's behind me. Alright, this is a little more complicated than I thought. Can I, I can't just let him pass me? Alright. I guess I gotta slow down when he spawns. Okay, a couple more hits ought to do it. For some reason, it's not letting me hit him. Damn it, he hit me. Oh, this is interesting, I'll give it that. Maybe I need to build up more speed before hitting him? No! God damn it! I can't believe I fell off the edge! That's literally the only way you can die here, it looks like. I do not want to get a game over to this. Use the what to avoid the what? Well, the somersault is this, right? So when he tries to attack me, I do that, I guess. Confused. How do I hit him? Well, that's how, I guess. Ah, damn it. As long as I don't... As long as I don't fall off the edge, I should be okay. That must be the Chaos Spear. Okay. 
The cutscene attack, got it. Ow. No, not again! You've gotta be kidding! This is so stupid! No shit! Be aware of your surroundings. Did I hit him from a, in front of him? That's funny. Okay. Not okay. Stop getting hit. Don't get knocked off the edge. This music is fucking cool as shit. But for some reason, it's not letting me hit him. Yeah, I can't hit him. Okay, they lied. The somersault does not, in fact, counter his spears. How in the hell do I hit him? Ah, okay. I guess you gotta bait him into attacking you and then attack him. Yes! We got him! Okay! Not too shabby. One minute, 33 seconds. When is this friggin' cannon gonna fire? <laughs> Sorry, I did it. Oh, they're sad because they think Sonic's dead. <laughs> Say goodbye to your fancy cannon, Eggman. No more laser piss. <laughs> Hero. Ah, and that's the end of the hero story. Awesome. Oh, I'm so glad we did it. It was a, it was looking a little dodgy there for a bit, but we did it. We've completed, I guess, half the story. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not expecting this game to be quite so stressfully difficult. But I guess it's still fun, especially when you overcome those stressfully difficult challenges. <laughs> it's not quite as it's it's not quite the same as Sonic Adventure 1. I'll say it 
like that. Because it's still a good game. Don't get me wrong. I'm still having fun playing this. But it just lacks that certain something. That extra little bit of love and care that the first game had. That I'm just not seeing here. Like with the hub worlds and just the overall quality, I guess. But, uh... It's still a grand old time just enjoying this game. And I suppose in the next video we'll begin the uh, dark story. So you can all look forward to that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, that's for sure. Let's just see if there's anything after these credits. <laughs> Might be like a hidden cutscene or something, who knows. But, you know, they just don't make games like these anymore. <laughs> it's all about battle passes and limited time events and all this, like, all this bullshit just meant to lure in more customers. It's not, it doesn't have the soul, it doesn't have the, the passion of these old games where you could just jump in and enjoy this crazy story with all these lovable characters. <laughs> it's the good old days, that's for sure. And it's nice to go back to them once in a while, especially for the first time, <laughs> like I'm doing now. Maybe I should look into some more retro games that I could play for the first time. I don't know. I'll have to see what's out there that I haven't already played. That's another emblem. So does it just... Oh, there is a cutscene. Does it just take us straight into the dark story? Okay, no. I guess it was just like an advertisement for it. Alright then. Yeah. Next time, Dark Side Story. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the dark side.